boils down to at the end of the day, most security incidents are identity problems. And, you know, for all sorts of reasons we get into later, like identity truly is the future of security, like solving things properly, not just like putting the fires out quickly, but like preventing forest fires. What, 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 what was the problem in the marketplace that you guys identified? you know, as an issue, because I've worked with identity. I've worked in IAM as kind of where I cut my teeth for, you know, security and uh, it's very easy for it to become a mess. Mm -hmm. So we looked at it and a couple different ways, but so my previous company or my, my previous role, I was a CTO at a company called security scorecard. And we, we had a ton of data and research through collaborations with our partners on uh, breached companies. And we had all the data analysis of what correlates, so not caused, but what correlates generally, right? what data signals and behavioral signals correlate to breach. And what was striking was three or four signals were incredibly strong in their correlation. And then everything else was kind of close to zero, right? And those signals were all about the identity system. How are passwords managed how is the endpoint. How are passwords managed? Is 2FA present? And then the third one, which I'll argue is related, but may seem a little bit different, is do they have an endpoint patching program in place? Endpoint hardening and patching. And, you know, we looked at, so, so, so that's kind of an interesting thing, right? Like it, it, I take a step back and then I just think about it, right? No matter the organization, no matter if you're an employee or a contractor or, a cust or even a customer, and no matter if you're working on a managed device or an unmanaged device, you're going to cross the identity bridge to get to any service or data. So number one, Identity is like the structural high ground. It sees everything by definition, right? So that's kind of one observation. Number two, it's the strong mishandling of it is the strongest corollary breach. And, 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 you know, since we got started, this has been proven out as well by like Mandiant and CrowdStrike and Verizon, where they track security incidents, 80 plus percent of all security incidents are identity failures. So this is kind of like the topical observation. Well, a little bit deeper, it's not hard to, to reason about that. Identity historically is not a security function. It's a productivity function. It's IT. If I run I identity, I'm judged by getting you to work fast. Um, not necessarily judged for security outcomes. We hired some security folks for that, right? Like blame them. And uh, so the incentives aren't necessarily there, I would argue, for identity companies to be security companies historically. So again, this is just one example of like, why are credentials so easy to steal? But our insight was, well, what if a credential didn't have to move? What if we could move from symmetric credentials to asymmetric credentials, right? If it can't move, that surface area that I described a minute ago shrinks to a single point and credential theft doesn't work. Stuffing doesn't work. Guessing doesn't work. If I'm on the device you're working from, it's actually rather trivial to then start detecting things like man in the middle, man in the browser, attacker in the middle, that sort of thing. And then that third comment, remember endpoint patching, endpoint hardening, that sort of thing. Well, when you get on an airplane, it's not enough for you to be the right person on the ticket. You also need to make sure you have no guns, no knives, no bombs. You have to be safe enough for the environment you're asking for. We can basically check the posture and say, hey, this device is hardened. This device does have the security controls you would expect relative to what it's asking for. That can be attested and kind of sealed over. So where do you see the identity space going? I mean, it sounds like Beyond Identity is already operating in kind of that futuristic area of IAM overall. Where do you see it going from here? So I really do think the future of security is identity. And I think it's borne out at the 50,000 foot level, it's borne out like the, the gross statistics. Like most security incidents are identity failures. I think they're actually preventable, right? Most of the industry is focused on detection and response, but now that everybody's got an HSM in their pocket or on their device or on their drone, we can actually prevent some of these forest fires from ever happening in the first place, right? Which means it's cheaper, it's faster, it's better. We get better outcomes. We can shift and work on a new set of problems. This doesn't change just because the computing platform changes. So the way you solve it for a human is actually not unlike the way you solve it for a drone or for an agent. For instance, I want to know what agent is running on what machine with what posture. And I want to know what model it's running. And traditionally, we might think of a user as like what user and what machine with what posture. And for the user, we'd think about like what factor do they possess? What are they, right? Like a biometric or what do they know? Like a knowledge head. How do I do that with an agent? Well, agents are programs and programs can, you can think of programs as being biometric. A program is a running process that's loaded from an actual file. That file is traditionally signed by the OEM that gave it to you. You can actually run those comparisons. You can decide if you trust the loader, you can trace the process through the loader back to the EXE. Like all of this can become part of a quasi checksum for even unlocking the HSM key that proves the identity for that particular agent. There are ways of doing device-bound, hardware-backed, multi-factor agent authentication that actually are 
almost the same way that you buy a cup of coffee with Apple Pay or Google Pay. So I, you know, think the, I think where we're going in security is identity is going to play a deeper and, and bigger role. Identity is the only thing that sees everything. And I think the, the, the explosion you're seeing in agents right now is going to prove that out even more. The easiest way of understanding what your people are doing with identity, what services they're plugging into their agents, where they may even be exposing data leakage is actually the identity. 